Alrighty, so in this video, I am going to be showing you guys just kind of a quick little overview of uh, what Zoho accounts look like for email. If you're going to be doing cold email and scaling cold email uh, campaigns, Zoho is one of the easiest and most cost efficient ways possible. Reason being is because stuff like G Suite currently costs about six, seven bucks per month per account while zoho only costs one dollar per month uh you pay it up front for the year so it's 12 bucks per account so it's double the price of one gmail account per month for the year right so it's like a crazy cost efficiency uh you know system and uh software that allows you to scale um a lot a lot easier all right, we used to do everything on G Suite and to set up multiple, multiple accounts, uh, you know, there was a consistent monthly bill that we had to pay and it was, you know, it was pretty expensive, um, right? So Zoho is kind of, uh, it's, it's better in that regard as well as the management of the accounts. It's a lot easier. Um, they have a better dashboard and uh keeping track of metrics and whatnot it just gives you a lot more uh utility in terms of adding multiple multiple accounts so it's a lot better you can track a lot of things through a zoho dashboard and then if you couple that with stride leads all right it's uh very efficient so i'm gonna block out a lot of the the details because i don't want you guys to see you know all the exact email accounts and stuff for example but this is one of the accounts that we have all right this is just one but you can see that there's a lot of different email accounts right so you can just add email accounts so let me add one as an example okay password Okay, and then I would just pick the domain through here. All right, you can hook up as many domains as you want. As well as email accounts as you buy. All right, I actually already created that account, so let me create a different one. Boom. So I created an account. Now, if I go to mail settings and go to mailbox actions and I can enable IMAP access. All right. So that means when I go over to stride leads and, uh, I set up an account, a sender, um, everything will go smoothly. So let me give you an example quickly. I would go to connect sender and I would type in the sender name. Let's say for example, either put the first name there or the full name and then send her full name and then let's do josh at your calendar.com okay or copy and paste the smtp username there i would use the smt password now the smtp host what I could actually just do just to make things easier, I can click this drop down and click fill fields for Google app slash Gmail. So that's going to auto populate the SMTP fields as well as the IMAP. Right now, all I need to do is change the IMAP and the SMTP host to Zoho's instead of Gmail. So I will just paste in the SMTP host for zoho there and the imap host right here for gmail it's pretty much the same thing except instead of saying gmail it says zoho right and then i'm gonna use the imap username so the imap and the smtp username as well as the password is just your email uh, as and your email password okay the imap port 99 993 which auto populates 
SMTP port 465, force SSL is enabled, normal authentication that auto populates. So all you have to do is just paste in the IMAP and the SMTP host. And you can add a, a signature if you'd like. Uh, daily limit, let's just say 50. Time zone, Eastern. And then update and check the sender. So if there was any issues, you would get an error saying if you, for example, typed in the wrong uh, password or if you didn't enable IMAP, you won't be able to use IMAP. Now IMAP, what that basically does is allows you to read replies as well as send multiple um, sequences. So, you know, if you're going to send multiple emails and through a sequence, which you should, you need to enable IMAP. Just enable IMAP, it's, it's just a lot better. Then you can, uh, you can, there's really two options that you have. You can look at, check this one out, automatic increase daily sending. So this is um, basically to increase your sending by X amount of emails each day and stop increasing once it reaches this limit. And make it more active, uncheck to stop increasing the sender capacity. Okay. But the main one that you want to uh, check out right when you add your sender. So say, for example, what you want to do is you want to have five senders per domain. All right. I wouldn't suggest 10. What you, you could, but it doesn't make sense because say if one domain gets burned, right, you're doing cold email at mass because uh, prospecting is all about scale, all about quantity. All right. Quality is important as well but quantity quality or quantity is so quality is important as well but quantity is you know very very crucial because it's really a numbers game just like door-to-door -door sales door knocking cold calling the more numbers you hit the more conversion rate conversions you're going to get so you want to have five per domain if one burns so say if you ruin the domain reputation from one or it gets blacklisted or whatever cool you lose five users, you add five more, no biggie. But if you lose 10, it's just like, you know, you have to set up 10 more. It's like such a long process, whatever. Maybe you have someone from your team doing it. It just doesn't make sense regardless. So spend the extra five, 10 bucks to buy more domains. And you're just going to mitigate uh, risk. You know, you're instead of losing not even just the time of setting them up, but the time then of warming the new users up as well as, you know, you, you have to, it, there's a like a one to two month process probably, or at least a few weeks of those user, until those u new users could get to the quality of the ones that uh, like the warmed up, you know, users that are sending every day. So five users per domain, you can set up as many domains as you want. All right, you can do that in Zoho. All right, so say if you set up 40 uh, users, that's going to be 600 bucks a year, which is uh, a, a steal compared to what Gmail is charging. You pay it one time and then you have, don't have to worry. And then you just pay for Stride Leads, right? Currently, um, it's about 97 bucks a month for unlimited senders. So not only does it, you can you just add like say 100 senders or 200 senders, each and every one of them has the warm-up deliverability feature. So if I click on warm-up deliverability, I'm going to set the maximum emails to send per day to 10. The number of emails to send more, more each day is 2. And then I'm going to activate words to include in the subject line. So you could change these if you'd like. Uh, this could be helpful if you want to create filters within each account, which, uh, you know, it's going a little bit of an extra step. You don't necessarily need to do this. It's just enhancing a bit of the warm-up uh, phase. Or um, once you get campaigns up and running, say if you're, uh, you know, you're checking on the email, seeing what positive replies or leads are coming in through the email inbox, you still want to have the warm-up feature going, right? So you could have words in the subject line, create a filter so any... Thing that's in the subject line like this would automatically get filtered to archive or whatever so it doesn't show up in the in the, the main inbox so you can actually see you don't have to sift through to find your lead so that's another great feature as well all right so that's kind of just a quick overview i didn't want this video is not some in-depth tutorial i just wanted a quick overview of how to 
kind of just at, uh, the process of the whole Zoho thing system, the the metrics, the numbers, as well as um, the accounts, how to set them up within Stride Leads. Each account you can send, let's say, 50 emails a day. So if you, you know, you can get your calculator out, do the math, right? And, uh, and, and, um, and yeah, so I mean, if you have 10 emails, that's 500, uh, 20 emails, 1,000, et cetera, et cetera. That's per day, all right? So you need to be doing mass outflow per day. This is just one piece of the puzzle, right? There's Keep in mind, there's also other cold email strategies, such as uh, using G, Gmail accounts or uh, G Suite accounts. But I mean, like I said, Zoho's better. Gmail, tip, you could use Gmail, Outlook, whatever. But if you're going to use it with Stride Leads, you have to do two-factor authentication with a actual phone number. So then you can have an app password to connect because Google just rolled out their uh, recent update where you can't just connect through less secured apps to something like an SMTP through a free G, G Suite uh, Gmail account. So that's one thing you'd have to do. So there's a bit of an extra step there. If you're buying mass G, Gmail accounts, you're going to have to make sure uh, you can get them to factor authenticated. Okay. And then... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, see, for example, I can just clone and duplicate this sender. And then I could go in here very simply and change it to, an, like, I would just have to change the name here, change the name here, change this, and change this, or change uh, this part right here. And then, uh, and then this one as well. And then if I use the same SMTP password for, you know, the same domain, then I wouldn't have to change it. I would just click update sender and I could do that five times per domain. All right. So it's very scalable. It's very, very powerful. And this is just one aspect of cool email. And this is also two, this one small aspect of a whole prospecting strategy. Like I always say, you even as many growth hacks and strategies and systems I can show you and you have implemented, they're great and you can uh, reap amazing results and you know, you can make a lot, a lot of money. But don't build your whole business upon one or two strategies. You need to have a a full blown system, um, you know that's 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 operating twenty four seven. You need to have a system that's built with different strategies, different ways to get leads, to fulfill, to do all these things. It's it's a you need to have a full machine. So that's really what a business is. All right, a business is not just one simple growth hack or one simple, you know, technique that that's not a business. All right. So this is just one piece of the puzzle. If you want to know more, subscribe, uh, like this video, turn on post notifications. We upload every single day, new different hacks, uh, growth hacks, tactics, tools, resources, strategies to stay up to date, stay on the cutting edge of your market, penetrate new industries with new offers, grow Facebook groups, communities, uh, cool copyright, cool email messaging, uh, running Facebook ads, Instagram ads, TikTok ads, hiring funnels, recruiting, um, you know, hiring a remote team, SDRs, training them, all this stuff. So subscribe for more to stay tuned as well as check out our free Facebook group and Discord community down below. You can go to stridecommunity.com, all right, stridecommunity.com, and you'll get links to all of our free communities where we upload uh, additional resources and stuff that we don't talk about in public. We just upload them into our community as well as just a bunch of different other trainings and stuff like that. All right, so join those and uh, you can uh, network with different people in there, whatever. And then uh, if you want more help, um, we do have a uh, implementation program for our clients. So if you're interested in that, talking to someone from our team, go to executivestride.com forward slash quiz or click the link below and fill an application to speak to myself or someone from the team. Other than that, guys, I hope you're having a good day. I hope you're killing it. Make sure if you're going to implement this strategy, do it today. Do it ASAP. All right. Speed is the number one thing in business. All right. Don't just consume a piece of content showing a strategy that you're like, hey, this could benefit me. I'm going to do it. Either do it or get someone else to do it. Pay someone to do it for you, whatever. All right. So if you need help doing this, like I said, book a call with us, apply, and we'll see if it's a good fit. If not, then just do this ASAP. All right. A lot of more, 
a lot more tactics and strategies coming very very soon so subscribe and i want you to do this one asap so that the next one that comes out you'll be able to do that asap as well all right take care guys i'm josh pocock founder and ceo of executive stride and i'll see you tomorrow peace